Hello guys and welcome. Um, I just thought I'd like to do a review on uh, this uh, new uh, tarot card set that I've got. Uh, come all the way from um, Australia. It's uh, called the Bonfire Tarot um, and it's really really cool. Um, it comes in a nice little bag like that which is really nice. Um, there's a little booklet that comes with it which again is, is these are all handmade um, you know the booklet is like this as you can see um, it's all sort of handmade it's stitched together as well which I think is nice the writing you know it's all sort of handmade um, the cards are based on um, lots of different things the symbology in the card the cards are based in lots of different things um, you've got alchemy plants and trees animal totems astrology history algorithm mythology masonic um, the Kabbalah religion um, stuff like that they're also based on tattoos as well and as I'm as you know I've got a full body sat body suit tattoo that suits me down to the ground um, the backs of the cards are reversible so that's the backs of the cards like that there you go so obviously um, but the card stock is really nice really strong card stock right there's no uh, they're not laminated or anything like that and they're also borderless as well so there's no border on them um, apart from like a, a black thing so you get a full card that's the ace of swords by the way um, traditional cards some symbols are taken from uh, the uh, classic Rider White you know um, Rider White sort of uh, uh, deck that you can see uh, I'll just see if I can find one for you that resembles that and then there's other cards that are you know uh, reminiscent of you know um, nothing at all um, if you're used to the Rider White cards then you'll be able to read these I mean that that is the that's the Six of Swords and as you can see it's somebody in a traveling over water which is traditionally in the Rider White is Six Swords in a boat um, so that's a, a similarity there um, and then you have other cards which are the Tewa which uh, you know they look a little bit like Alice in Wonderland as well these because they've actually got cards on them as well so that's the Tewa that's a nice card um, this is the Two of Cups There you go, um, and the chariot. And they're really easy to use, easy to get into. Um, there's a lot of involvement in the cards. There's a lot of symbology in the cards. Um, every time you look at them, you can see something slightly different. Um, this is the ten of swords. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of you know. Um, extras I think that are added and I actually think they they enhance um, reading very practical deck you know um, I've used them on a few readings I find them to be quite accurate already um, because there's a lot of symbology in them I really like them I I think that anybody that's you know I think for a beginner I think that'd be quite good I also think for a um, experienced tarot person I think this would extend your knowledge in in the realms of tarot um, as well um, because there is that much you know there's that much to them and there's that much hidden uh, within within the cards themselves you know yes they are a little bit busy some some of the cards are a little busy um, you know I mean some are a little bit sort of it's hard to distinguish you know the background from the foreground so some are a little bit busy um, you know for example battens I find I find tends to be tend to be a little bit busy that's there's a lot going on there um, but again the eight of ones which is you know in the Rider White you know traveling there you go the eight of ones traveling engagements that sort of thing so that's reminiscent there um, the nine of swords that's worry you can see and then you've got the ten of cups here which is a family picnic which is quite different but you've still got the rainbow and you've still got the house in the background there's elements that, that are taken from all and I just think that they really are a really beautiful set and you can see that there's a lot of time and effort gone into them um, 
they're not public you, you might find them I, I had to send off on the to, to their own website to get them there's not many decks left um, there's certainly not an awful lot in production um, delivery on time not a problem two weeks to come from Australia to the UK so that was great um, you know and I just think that they're really beautiful um, if you like colour if you like colour and if you're interested in tattoos and if you're interested in the symbolism anything to do with masonry um, you know the Kabbalah astrology um, tarot itself numerology um, you know religion you know animal totems it's all in here you know everything everything that you can see is, is all in here I quite like this one this is the nine of cups and you can see there's a direct link to the Rider White with that particular card at the back that is a, a classic Rider White sort of card that one oh, I, and I quite like that but then as, I, as you can see in this one you've got all the added extras you know which I think I think that looks, really enhances the card itself you, I think I think when using tarot cards you want cards that are gonna strike the imagination um, you know um, and strike the imagination you know whether that be with colour with a symbol uh, with a word because these have got not only have you got the five of cups there but normally on the cards they'll have what the card is inside the card besides the bottom so you can see the five of coins there is on the door um, the same as the four of swords there is on the bath there the writing just at the corner of the bath um, the star as you can see and the stars in the background and they're just a really nice set hand wires you know they fit in the palm of your hand just to give you a, a little bit of um, the square they are square um, so you have that's from the Frank Fridella um, card there and then that's so you so they're a little bit wider a little bit wider turn the back so you can see so they're a little bit wider a little bit wider but not as tall so they're quite a, they're quite a square deck um, they do tend to fit quite nicely in the hands and they do shuffle brilliantly they don't stick some I find some cards stick together um, and that's so they they shuffle very very nicely um, they the only drawback to them is that sometimes you can't because they're quite they're quite slippery so when you're trying to pick them over you know but then again they're probably new but sometimes it's hard to pick them up because they do sit quite flush with each other so it's you'll find that you find yourself picking two up instead of one like I've just done there so but I think that'll come with time um, you know but I think that they're very good I like them I like them a lot I like the fact that they're handmade I like the packaging that they came in um, I like the little booklet that comes in it doesn't go into too, de too much detail um, you know it's your basic but there's a preface of the journey of how the cards were made which is really really interesting by the author um, you know and it tells you how she made them um, and how she sort of discovered them which I think is really nice but I just think it's just a lovely deck to have um, you know especially when you get it that it's a, a handmade touch like this so I do recommend them definitely five stars um, and um, yeah so do a search for the bonfire tarot on Google and see what you get thanks for listening guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll be doing another review soon on another deck at some point peace out